Yeah. Okay. So, what are you going to play? Что вы собираетесь играть? Да. Variations on on theme. My theme Ага. On single theme. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Bravo. Bravo for your performance. Um, um, so let's start maybe from from the beginning of the piece. Um, so the, the first thing I can mention is you have a very good educated left hand and your intonation is, is quite good. I think what we can work is uh, mostly on the right hand and on the sound production and on different characters of spiccato and different deutsche colors in in your right arm. Больше будем работать над правой рукой, над красками, над характерами, разницы, над разницей в характерах, да? У вас очень хорошая левая рука, достаточно хорошая интонация, так что будем заниматься тем, что я сейчас назвал. Okay, let's start from from the very beginning. I think um, what we can um, work a bit more out is that the long notes in the theme have more direction or more color shadowing. So uh, you play a bit, for me, a very plain line, and I think it can have more, I would call it, geographic playing. Над длинными нотами хотелось бы поработать в большей степени. Вы их играете достаточно плоско, а хотелось бы, чтобы они были несколько географичными. Да, в своем so, for example, for the first, uh... so you play a bit. I mean, of course, it's a bit a matter of taste, but maybe you can give every long note a bit more color and a bit more development sometimes you can relax sometimes you can open it for example i would say relax a bit and then come again and now on the chromatic line you can give a bit more contact with the bow but from the first d you can go a bit more relax the sound so let's try from the beginning Господи, ну раскрашиваете, да, длинные ноты, mm -hmm. да? и бывает, отпускаете их и больше контакта со смычком, пожалуйста. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Can you? Also, when uh, the piano plays, your wonderful orchestra behind you um, can breathe more if you play it. And then this is also another uh, point I want to talk about is the movement of your body. You are very controlled, but you can move more right and left with the phrase. Uh, for example, so... I mean, I exaggerate a bit, but your playing is a bit like, you know, like an Egyptian sphinx. Try to move a bit more, yeah? Двигайтесь больше вместе с фразой. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Good. Then one other thing. We have this wonderful accent. Uh, now, can you give it a bit more deep feeling in your arm? So this is light, light, and then 
And now you go down in the line. And then phrase a bit more consciously up and down because otherwise it's everything on one level. Это вот прекрасный акцент, сделайте глубже, да, рукой покажите его. Здесь гораздо uh, больше um, разницы в движении вверх и вниз, чем делаете это вы. Yeah, bravo. That's much better. Now, can we do another experiment? You always watch your fingerboard with your eyes. Mm. Yeah, and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you try to have your view like... <laughs> It's like you hypnotize your left hand but there is nothing to to check it's only the ear which make intonation and everything yeah то есть смотрите вдаль главное чем вы должны проверять музыку это вашими ушами Yeah. Yeah, bravo. That's better. And and you realize when you when you pay attention on this thing, um, it's it's not so easy, right? Это может быть не так легко, когда вы так делаете. So I, I think it's a habit uh, which you just should get rid of it and practice in the whole piece because. Um, the impression is you don't share it with the audience when you play it and especially the theme I mean, it's not uh, later on. It's very virtuous and difficult But here you can enjoy also more when you play by yourself То есть здесь надо в большей степени освободиться и делиться с аудиторией да, чтобы и аудитории вы получили большую радость от от контакта Это будет способствовать вашей большей свободе хотя быть может быть это будет сложнее Okay, let's let's start from from the beginning again and try to keep during the whole theme your view as here like in the uh, maybe in the camera maybe watch the camera that's good then you or here yeah or here right or the translator I don't know where he's sitting but uh, just watch the translator yeah Смотрите на переводчика или в камеру в течение всей темы давайте Yeah let's let's try from beginning Сначала. And with with piano, let's do it with piano and breathe when she's playing. Breathe before you play and really go into the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, bravo. Yeah, thank you. Bravo, bravo. That's much better. So then you, I, I get a much more open impression of your playing when you do this. Yeah, that's uh, just practice this uh, in the next uh, days for yourself. Стало гораздо открытие, и поэтому потренируйтесь таким образом, будет лучше. So now I talked about in the, in the very beginning about more geographic playing. Can you maybe? Tell me what you think I can mean with geographic playing. Как вы думаете, что я имею в виду, когда говорю о географической игре? More, more relief, uh, uh, the development of the phrase, and so on. 
Okay, so um, would you agree to play open and close? Same thing again, and then also that's the turning point, and now, but not. I mean, it sounds beautiful, but it's it's not shaped enough for my taste. Mm -hmm. Follow more the line. Uh -huh. Получается, да, что более открытая игра, более закрытая игра, и там есть точка поворота, mm -hmm. да, была, где он ее показывал. Вот, и таким образом это будет uh, более рельефная игра. Maybe just exaggerate once. When we play again from the beginning, exaggerate your phrasing idea. Maybe it has to do also with the internet and Zoom sound quality, but it's quite good, so I think you can show it more. Also with your body, what you want to do, open or close or stay on the same level. А преувеличьте ваше намерение, вашу фразировку. Okay, good. So, good. I, yeah, I thank you. Otherwise, we lose too much time if we play too much. So, I just want to uh, test one thing for you. Um, how can you answer me the question, how can you uh, shape a note which you want to do a lot of diminuendo or change the color? What do you do with the bow? What do you do with the bow when you want to change the color or do a diminuendo? Ну, краску, когда поменять. Mm -hmm. So there are different possibilities. So what you, can you do? So just tell me what's possible. Может быть, разные варианты. Вот, что вы, как вы это делаете? <laughs> I, I cannot uh, say. She said. Okay, okay. So then, that, then that's my job, okay? Тогда это моя работа. Yeah. So, so there, there are different possibilities. You can lift the weight. You can change the contact point, or you can speed down. So, so there are thousands of possibilities, and of course, combinations of these three. So, for example, I would, I would like to uh, uh, experiment a bit. Which is no, we we play a game. You do one of these three possibilities, so weight, speed, or contact point, and I have to guess what did you do. So you have to do it very good. То есть варианты какие? Либо вес, да, либо скорость смычка, либо контакт смените, да, со смычком, либо их комбинации. Вот попробуйте что-нибудь из этого сделать. Okay, so let's do just, okay, let's do just this note, only the A. Okay, good. I guess it was the weight. It was the weight. So can you do now the speed? 
теперь со скоростью тот же эксперимент. Окей. И эксцедрирайте. Эксцедрирайте. Так что быстро и медленно. А потом медленно. Да, например, хорошо. И теперь делайте контакт. Go away from the bridge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Теперь смени точку контакта с, с мышкой. Good. Okay, so now you have to decide what's what's good for you. Ну, теперь do. надо решить, что лучше. You do a lot of bow speed on the accent. I would do more uh, slow bow at the beginning and then relax and open the sound. Mm-hmm. But go to the go to the um, um, fingerboard. А медленное движение и потом отпустить, да? И идти вперед. Okay. Yeah, that's a new color. You know, this is a bit what I miss in your playing mm-hmm. uh, in this theme because it's a virtuoso piece. But at the beginning, it's a singer who sings and has to be a lot colorful, more colorful than you played, I think. То есть сейчас появилась краска. Это то, чего мне не хватает в вашей игре. Это виртуозная пьеса, но тем не менее в начале здесь очень много красок, да? Yeah. Okay, but now we we skip this part and uh, um, we go into the major part, yeah. Uh, and that we majoro. go on a bit, and you can practice a bit, uh, especially with contact points. I think that's a bit a new thing for you. This would be worth doing it. Поэкспериментируйте, да, с контактируя по-разному со струной, и это приведет к новым краскам. And now, when we play the major, try to do it with the long notes what we practiced now. Yeah, just experiment a bit. Когда будете сейчас играть мажор, тоже попробуйте также поэкспериментировать с длинными нотами, как мы делали сейчас. Okay. Yeah. One question. Uh, what changes here uh, in что comparison to the beginning? По сравнению с началом. There's a lot of change. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. In, in my play, in my game, uh, in, in my plane, nothing, nothing changed. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but in the structure, da. there's a lot of... Another color, uh, the, more, uh, the more light, the more light. Okay, no. um, so, <laughs> just read, read the score. Mm-hmm. Read Посмотрите the много. score, so, we have uh, mezzo forte, we have... Uh, also, can we hear once the beginning of the piano? Can we just hear the piano alone, the starting? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, the piano, yeah. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> And then, then we have we have this a bit more open feeling. And also he writes Metz Forte in the piano. Mm-hmm. So played much more open. So it's more uh, the beginning is melancholic. And also um, the punctuation can be different. Uh, you play a long Uh, 16th and uh, can change everything here. Yeah, Произношение изменяется, да, потому что если там были длинные ноты, такие более да, темные, то здесь уже гораздо больше воздуха, все свежее. Thank you. 
Okay, bravo. Yeah, bravo. This this was much better. So just go with the flow of the piano because I think the music is already in the accompaniment accompaniment of the piano. Yeah, it's more open, more flowing. And then maybe you can accompaniment of the piano. Maybe you can play more euphoric and not so. Uh... Yeah, and then. maybe different two times i mean i know it's written both time i think forte when i remember but um it's a bit boring if it's all the time the same maybe you can also with a lot of portamento and then maybe more shy a bit or change something there yeah so let's do from No problem, uh, just to try it again. Good, okay, and now and bravo, bravo, that was much better. Now starts the actually the violin section. Can you now change in virtuose mode? So a bit more free. Before you did this, you know, you you uh, watch landscape, but now you are the violin player who is playing the. Uh, so it's a bit. I would play more bit more strange and free yeah can we do directly there and also the upbeat is really short and virtuous ta da а так то есть здесь теперь начинается да начинается скрипичная часть да вы виртуозная часть вы должны превратиться уже в скрипку виртуоза да и этот затакт он должен быть очень свободный да и немножко причудливым да Thank you. Uh, tell me uh, in this Piacere tile uh, from here, which notes are important in all these um, scales and arpeggio parts? What do you think? Какие ноты, по вашему мнению, здесь особенно важны? Вот в этой. And then when you go down. I think the upper notes can have a bit more stress, vibrato, because he writes a piacere, it's a cadenza. So I think also here you can use more time. And also at the end, uh, maybe also some portamento. Or... Some small delicious things you can add here, I think. Let's stay uh, from here. Верхние ноты подчеркните, пожалуйста, да, то есть время им дайте обязательно, и вот некоторые апартаменты, да, там сделать. Okay, try once, try once. Sorry. Um... I mean, practice once like this, maybe it's not every note with vibrato, but tr just try it once to always give a vibrato. Then it's, mm -hmm. you are sure that the bow also gives time. Uh -huh. uh, на uh, главных нотах попробуйте в качестве упражнения сделать вибрато, да? Uh, просто как упражнение. Yeah. 
Good, 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 good. And now, can you make a musical development of it, which means the first poco and then go, make a vibrato crescendo? <laughs> Something like this. И сделайте развитие теперь до этой фразы. Yeah. So it's up to you. So just, but you are really allowed to do these things. Okay, bravo. This was much better. Uh, okay. So let's go on to the tema from here. Timmy. Okay, good, bravo, bravo. Can you, you play very, the, the upbeats are really on the string. I would, a bit more, l leave the string, lift it a bit more because it sounds, it's really a completely new character, yeah? Ну, как бы отпустите ее, да, получится более свободно играть, да? За такты. Okay, and good, 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 good. Can we hear once the piano accompaniment alone? Можно, пожалуйста, только фортепиано изобразить аккомпанемент? with my computer so i think i'm back now right can you hear me uh -huh. yes we can, we, we can. yeah okay uh, so what you can hear in the piano accompaniment is that the um that the second beat is more heavy than the first beat right because she has mm, bah, mm, bah. so and he sa gives you also the sign with the upbeat can you play the upbeat more light because it's an upbeat and it's a dotted note and then it's a bit late, the second and the fourth beat. Then it's a bit more jokey. Something like this. Play a bit more with these elements, yeah? Mm -hmm. Поиграть с этими элементами, да? Более, более шутливо, да? Потому что здесь есть синкопа. Okay, bravo. That's that's much better, yeah. I mean, yeah. of course, that you have to rehearse a bit with the piano, that it's together. But this is the, it's it's a joke. It's a musical joke what he writes here. Mm -hmm. То есть это шутливая музыка. Но еще порепетируйте. Сейчас, maybe for uh, three seconds, uh, a pause, a little pause. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. So one one other thing, um, the two first bars are really virtuos and uh, with dotted notes, and then and then he writes tenuto uh, on the and then he changes back. And then can you use more bow? It's a bit. 
Uh, so, uh, go more. And then play with more schwung. I don't know the word schwung in that's German word for ha. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the translator knows it. <laughs> uh, так, uh, то есть два первых такта, uh, там пунктирный ритм, да, есть и uh, стаката, да, uh, вот, а потом идет тенута, да, и потом снова возвращается вот эта вот шутливая по характеру uh, тема, да, то есть и в конце больше смычка, да, и это слово немецкое я тоже не знаю. Окей, okay, let's do again tempo alla Mattia. Okay, bravo. That's that's much better. I still are not completely satisfied with your upbeats. It's a bit too serious. Uh, also, the upbeats have to have the same quality. And then uh, um, do more percussion with the left hand because it's it's a bit. Um, unclear in the left hand this virtuose ending of this passage а за так ты слишком серьёзная да хочется в них больше энергии и левая рука там вот в этих вот рап па пам да она должна быть более ударная да вот let's play the whole section tema without repetition and then we go in the second part ага всё играем сначала без повторения и далее Bravo. Good. I like this. Is you play it more melancholic, but then can you play the upbeat more with the whole body because you play It sounds good, but the the effect is not very huge. It's it's a bit like, you know, stubborn, like a stubborn child. Da, 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 da. It's a bit ugliness in this phrase for a short time, yeah? В общем, всем телом, да, играйте эти эти фразы. Да. Угу. Все, пока. Let's go uh, from here, yeah? То есть такие у упрямые, да, упорные они должны быть вот эти вот те фразочки. Та 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 та. Good, good. Yeah, I think you still look. You look on the fingerboard. Can you do and more? And here I wouldn't play because uh, and more melancholy. And now present and now and then you calm down again. So a bit accelerando and then tempo again yeah so he plays also with timing a bit more yeah so enjoy more doing these things um, not because i tell it uh, because you should love it to do these things и получите удовольствие от всего этого разнообразия потому что я вам сказала потому что вам это тоже очень нравится
Okay, let's go on. Let's go to variation one. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, can you sing it once? А вы можете это пропеть? Okay, good. You play exactly like you sing. That's always a good sign. Вы так играете. Ага, это это хорошо. Can you maybe sing it a bit more virtuous, like coloratura? Da pa 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 da 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 ti da 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 It's a matter of taste, but I don't know if you agree with that. Попробуйте сейчас это пропеть более колоратурно. Здесь, конечно, написаны леги, но мне кажется, что здесь штрих должен быть больше в сторону спиката и отношения, да? Вот. То есть это, конечно, вопрос вкуса. Но попробуем. Let's experiment a bit. You play. Легче. Okay, good. Good. Uh, so for for me, good for me. This is much better. Now, can we talk a bit about the right arm? Um, you try to play spiccato and you lift up the arm, but you don't lift up the wrist, and then the fingers are not free. So, so make the the so just put the bow in the left hand once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. So now see your own wrist. So the wrist is up, right? And the fingers fall down. Поднимите, да, поднимите запястье, да, чтобы а пальцы. So and, and when you take the bow, you do this. Try to keep this, and then the fingers are more free. А теперь сохраните, да, вот эту позицию, когда берете. Смычок и ваши пальцы будут должны быть свободными. Yeah, and then instead of yeah, so with the more light wrist, с более свободным запястьем, легким запястьем. Okay, good. Bravo! And can you now use a bit more bow and think of your arm is doing like a banana or like a curve because you do. Yeah, so yeah, pa, 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 pa. so it's always like you know, like a circle movement instead of only this. Yeah. Да, то есть попробуйте использовать больше смычка и делать более круговые движения смычком, а не прямые. Okay, bravo. Yeah, I will bravo. practice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, do, let's do it once a bit slower and um, try um, try to do also. Um, so I have a question. Um, the French players or French musicians have a very wonderful definition of up and down bow. Do you know the words in French for up and down bow? Знаете ли вы по французски, как э, звучит э, э, вверх с мочком или вниз с мочком в терминологии? Потому что у них очень четкое разграничение э, в игре, как, когда они это играют. I don't remember. So it's uh, tirer and pousser, and that means pull and push. Ага. То есть да, тянуть и толкать получается. Да? Okay. And uh, why I'm telling you this because um, Pull and push means there is a movement forward and backward instead up and down or left and right. So it's 
three-dimensional, so we have a curve. So if we do it very slow, I, I exaggerate, of course. Yeah, but there is a circle movement in the whole system of the bow arm. То есть у них не вверх и вниз, да, штрихи обозначаются, у них более трехмерно это, да, именно тянуть и толкать. Вот, почувствуйте это. Can we try this very slow? So really practice tempo. Try once. Yeah, that's good. So exactly. So when you go in the tempo, the size of this movement is reduced step by step. It's so small that you only feel it. Outside the audience can't um, judge what you do, but you have a feeling of a circle movement. The good thing is also the upper arm muscles and the lower arm muscles relax more if you do a circle movement. Yeah, you know, circle movements are always better than just left and right. Mm -hmm. Когда вы увеличите темп, эти движения будут не настолько явными, да, и вы их будете чувствовать только где-то совсем а, внутри своей руки. То есть а, аудитория, конечно же, видеть это не будет. Но главное, что круговые движения более естественные э, и удобные для руки, чем просто вперед-назад. Да, обязательно нужно за этим следить. Okay, so now just practice for your own and experiment with this truck movement and we go on to variation two, yeah? Сейчас немножко сами, да? Попробуйте это и, и перейдем дальше. И пойдем дальше потом. Yeah. Good, good, good. That's very good. So maybe concentrate not on here, concentrate more that the arm also moves. So the elbow makes this circle. Yeah. Okay. But you can work on this on your own. Uh, no. Let's go now for variation two. К следующей вариации переходим. Okay, good, good. Can you play every down bow with the most energy you have in your whole body? So this is really, um, I don't know, a big boat with a lot of wind and all sails are gone and you go. Uh -huh. uh, так, то, то, что вы играете с мычком вниз, да, играете uh, всем uh, телом, да, как будто вы на лодке плывете и что там гребете, да, пожалуйста. Окей, okay, good. And good, 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 that's better, but now you again watch your fingerboard. Uh -huh. <laughs> Be more proud of yourself, more self-confident. Как сказать, ну, смелее, горди, гордитесь собой, да. Yeah, 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 but that's better, that's better. Uh, you can also do this. Yeah, that's fine. You can also do this. That's fine. So there you are in this piece, you are a lot free a lot, especially with, with bow techniques and, and like playing a game. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now I have a, a question. I think there we are um, done with the time, which is a bit of pity, but there's also a second student, right, who wants to... Кажется, у нас время выходит, да, и нужно переходить ко второму студенту, да. Yeah, or uh, I am right, yeah, there's a yes, second yeah, one. Yes, uh, yes, you are right. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's very unmusical to stop directly in the piece, but I think because of time, I have to do it. Thank so thank you very much for playing. Uh, you Hello. Hello. Welcome. So you are Alexandra, that's right? Yes. Yeah, okay. And you play the, the Crump solo sonata, uh, third movement, I was told, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. So. Bravo, thank you very much. So, um, I have a question first. Um, what is a toccata? What is a toccata? It's a piece? It's a piece? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. I don't know. Do you know any other toccata? Какие-нибудь токаты знаете? Yeah, okay. So, and which instrument? Для, для какого инструмента? Орган. 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 Yeah, right. So, it's a... Crumb uh, uh, was very known as a composer who um, takes a lot of inspiration of baroque dance forms or baroque 
music piece forms. So, um, к нам очень много черпал вдохновения в барочной музыке. And if you if you see toccatas like Bach organ pieces or harpsichord pieces, then it's often very fast, very virtuous and like improvisation. It's like um, as if you um, overthink something and in this moment you get the, uh, the idea. Ah, I go like this. Uh -huh. То есть обязательно, когда вы видите это ката, то это обычно что-то быстрое, виртуозное и часто импровизационное. Поэтому надо иметь это в виду. Yeah, and uh, often in, the, in church services it's played when the community enters the church or the pope comes into the church. Then it's uh, but when he enters or when he goes off, it's a toccata. And um, the character of it, it's uh, really the name toccare in Italian means uh, to hit something or to touch. So, uh, and I think here a uh, crump did with the staccato or spiccato. Uh, he imitates a piano or a uh, um, uh, harpsichord or uh, organ. So what we need here is more this character. Токката, uh -huh. uh, да, это обычно была вступительная uh, часть, начальная, да, перед службой, когда еще народ только входил в церковь, да. Токката от uh, итальянского токары, что означает там, трогать или даже стучать, да, поэтому вот это вот ударное какое-то начало должно быть слышимо. So can we experiment now? We start directly with the allegro vivace and with the pianissimo that you make much more. So. So the bow should not, you play with, it's not really staccato and uh, the, the um, I don't know the word, the height of the bow. So the distance to the string has to be much bigger. That it's really this movement, not not only this. Больше вертикальной амплитуды движений, да, требуется. Давайте сейчас проведем этот эксперимент. Okay, good. That's better. Now I would suggest to take less bow, and we experiment with the bow plates. You play really close to the frog, and you play a lot of bow. I would. Less bow and more at the balance point of the bow. Can you find the balance point of your bow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Balance. At this point, play there. И меньше смычка. И вот где баланс, там и играйте. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there, play there. А там, да. Mm -hmm. Good. That's better. And now, um, less bow and let's do it slower. Медленнее. And once do really a beating movement, like you always do, like like this, yeah. Да, like table tennis player. Да, вы ударяете по струнам, ударяете. Good, good, and bravo. That's very good. And now pay attention that the first finger has a big distance to the second finger. And it's in a permanent pressure. We need the first finger for the articulation, but it should always relax. So it's not. It's experiment that you can relax the first finger. Отпустите первый палец. Yeah, that's perfect. Bravo. Can you do this now? It's, uh, it's pianissimo. It's like whispering, you know? It's like you... Yeah. Good. That's much better. So I think this is a very important thing for this piece that you improve your spiccato and staccato quality and experiment with your first finger, with the place on the bow, how much bow you use and how big the distance to the string is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. То есть, в общем, здесь очень важно поработать над спиккато, да, над, над качеством спиккато и стаккато, над э, э, высотой, да, вот. Да, расстояние между yeah. и струной и э, так что там еще было а, ну сколько смычка? Да, то есть да и количество смычка меньше да.
Good, good, good. Bravo, bravo. Okay. Um, so, uh, and then it's a it's a process to speed it up. Yeah. So to get it in in the end tempo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. И постепенно ускоряем, да, и приводим к оригинальному темпу. Can we try it a bit faster? Немножко yeah. быстрее. Okay, good, good, good. Is this your pianissimo possible? Это тише можете еще? Can you play it? Let's go and let's. Good. Bravo. Let's butcha. Also, you can experiment with the contact points. So play it more at the finger point. Проверьте на положение позицию. Okay, good, good. And now um, he, it's like per, uh, do you know what perpetuum mobile is? Так. А so что такое, a, что такое perpetuum a... mobile? Знаете? Uh, yes. Ага. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think this is the idea, but then Crump composes like a joke. Um, he interrupts always the six quarter bar he, he puts at the beginning with this three quarter bar. So it's like, yeah, and then, and I think that's the reason why he puts the slur and um, uh, a, a new bar number. It's like an interruption. You can, could play like ours. And it's like, oh, what's happening here? So okay. can you play it more as a surprise, this three-quarter bar? То есть Крам периодически прерывает бесконечное движение четвертей трехчетвертным тактом, и там он все время показывает этот момент с помощью лиги. Покажите это каждый раз, то есть чтобы это было как сюрприз, неожиданность. Окей, good, bravo. One other question. Do you need maybe a different bow technique for the slur than for the staccato? Может быть, нужна другая техника смычка, когда вы играете лигу, а не стаката. Да? Это, это, это как бы вопрос был. Да. Maybe you can. So here it's more light. Здесь легче, здесь тяжелее. But then the elbow and the arm is more in the string. And then light. Again. Good, good, good. And then one question. How big is the crescendo? So what's the dynamic you get in the second bar of the crescendo? So he doesn't write anything. Так. Насколько сильным должно быть крещендо? Yeah, I would say it's just like you know the only thing which is new is and then he comes back. So it's just the three notes F sharp D and B. Yeah, so it's and then you go back and he repeats it again and then the new element comes. Yeah, this this bar. This is the new element. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it from Allegro Vivace. Can you play this more like you want to go with your bike and you realize, whoa, shit, the signal is going red and I have to. So it's like, and then yeah. So it should be a shock. It's not like I think it's too normal. То есть напряжение, да, как будто вы едете на велосипеде, вдруг увидели красный свет и вам надо затормозить. Good, good, good. Good. And now the first slurred notes come. Can you just show a bit more um, different bow? It's not. It's more. 
and then again, and then it's again, it's piccatissimo, yeah? But in this bar, the nine quarter bar, by the way, we have a six quarter bar, then as the first joke, we have the three quarter bar, and here we have a nine quarter bar, which is three times the, so again, the surprise bar is a bar change. So where happens something new in the structure, he composes different bars. That's interesting, I think. То есть обратите внимание на те моменты, когда меняются размеры. Каждый раз таким образом композитор uh, шутит с нами. Вот. Так. And when we go on, let's just see. It's he marks 144, yeah? Can we try once? No matter if you miss now some notes, I don't care. But I think the character depends in this piece a lot to the tempo. It's a bit like you know. A nightmare. You jump on a train and it's going all the time. There is no chance to get off. It's never stopping at the station. Yeah. Да. Bravo. That's the first stop. Now, um, let's work. That was much better. Yeah. So I think this is uh, the main tempo you should end up when you practice this piece. So one question: How long do we work on this piece now? Сколько работаете над этой пьесой? One month. Okay. No, that's fine. So I think the next step is that you go step by step without losing the spiccato quality into the end tempo of 144. He writes circa 144, which means almost, but I mean, we can say it's just very fast. <laughs> yeah. Ну, постепенно улучшайте качество спиката, да, и постепенно увеличивайте темп, да, до указанного. Главное, чтобы это было, это должно быть действительно быстро. Can you now let's work on the introduction? So the Lago e Dramatico. Um, I think um, you can play this more majestic with more time and also with more improvis improvisatoric um, attitude. Because if you go back again to the Toccata in the church by Bach, this is like a huge organ improvisation in a big church. Yeah, try to have this. So take more time use more bow, give more sound and play more free. Так, теперь перейдем к началу. Uh, здесь хочется сделать это более торжественно, импровизационно, чтобы это было более похоже на орган, на органную импровизацию. Поэтому больше звука, больше смычка, больше объема. Okay, good. So what about, so the accent is notated on, on this note, yeah? And if you count, one, two, one, yeah, so it's much longer, one, two, and then, uh, listen, and, and, Pianissimo and play more. You are lost, right? You you play the trill and then you are completely somewhere. Yeah? Let's do it again from the beginning. То есть считайте первую ноту, она длиннее, чем вы играете, если будете считать длинную ноту, да, считайте. И потом, когда начинаются мелкие ноты, нужно сделать такое ощущение, как будто вы потерялись, да, вы не знаете, где вы находитесь. Okay, good. Can you give this first? So let's try once. After the accent, give a bit of relaxation in the bow. 
relax and then come again and then take it's not written but think as a crescendo in the bowling so step by step for every uh, triplet note of the quarters use a step by step a bit more bow then you get more arrival point on the high note mm -hmm. Первую ноту э, с, сначала сделайте акцент, потом отпустите и потом сделайте крещендо, да? А на восходящих интонациях, да, на крещендо вы должны это делать с помощью смычка, с помощью скорости смычка. Good, bravo. And um, why you don't do any vibrato on the triplet notes? Делайте вибрато, да, на, на треволях. So, also do... Do uh, vibrato crescendo, yeah? Okay. So, let's talk about position changes. Теперь поговорим о смене позиции. Which way of position changes could help you here to make the intonation more secure? What do you think? Как, какое, какая смена позиции вам поможет сделать этот пассаж более так сказать, стабильным и уверенным? The muscles or the arm, it's more the way how do you do it from the speed, for example. You do, you do it really, um, I don't know the word, um, but you can do it more smooth and with more preparation and more a round movement. Then it helps you to hit the notes. Yeah, более круглыми движениями, более спокойно. Okay, can can we better? It's better, but um, can we exaggerate once? The position change start really early in the arm and then do it really with glissando that I can hear it directly from here and enjoy the quality of the movement. Mm -hmm. Uh, смена позиции она начинается рано uh, в локте, да, и uh, очень важно вот именно это качество движения. Окей, okay, bravo, again, again. Good, and now with vibrato. Good. Now play from the beginning. And with what we practice, yeah? Okay. And then make more. Give me the end And can you um, make the vert trill more virtuous? So it starts um, really fast and then slower and then, then no weight, fingerboard. It's really like nothing. And then make more ritardando. It's like you freak out for a moment. You search and then you find something. Yeah? Больше а, разнообразия, да, быстро начинать эту трель, да, потом немножко медленнее, потом как будто вы все-таки что-то нашли, да, и а, устремляетесь вперед. Окей, okay, good. And the trill 
I think it's half tone, right? Or is it? Там малая секунда. А, нет. Нет. Yeah. Okay, and and do more diminuendo with the contact point. That you really start at the bridge and then you go during the trill, you go away from the bridge. Okay, and good. Bravo, it's good. But start with the triplet. So it's and now no accent on this really not you you played soft but still with an accent. I would start from nothing. Не начинайте триоль с акцента. Good. Let's go on. Bravo. Let's go on. Okay. Uh, just, just one thing. Remember now, um, less bow, uh, less dynamic. So you can play softer. And you always skip one part, right? So it's two times. And then again, the same thing. So you always miss the second. Yeah, so I think it's a, a just a matter of um, uh, your memory, yeah? Let's go here, less bow. Think of, can we try one thing? I see your bow a lot like this so the hair so can you relax the bow a bit more that you have more a curve of the bow stick i think it can help to play a bit more gentle spiccato так помните да что чем меньше смычка тем меньше динамики немножко распустите его да чтобы вы чувствовали and really less bow изогнутый Okay, good. One thing. Now, you are very musical and you phrase. So you go always forward. I think it's very important to keep it like completely out in time, all the time. So I would practice a lot with metronome that it's completely in time. Can you try it again and phrase what you did, crescendo, accents, everything, but keep a bit more cool. Сейчас еще раз, да, играйте, пожалуйста, выполняйте все, что здесь написано в тексте, но очень ритмично и как бы вот с холодной головой. Yeah, that was what's much better. I think there's one danger I have to tell you. When you do crescendo, you do it with more bow. If you take more bow, then it's not spiccato anymore. So you do. I would do it just with the weight, a bit more weight. So, but not. You do. Делайте крещендо весом, а не смычком. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. And I think it's still too much bow. It's uh, I, It's really so much bow. It's not more than this distance. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. 
Good, good, good. Okay, let's go now on from, from here and let's go on. Сюда теперь переходим и дальше. Okay, good. Okay, now we have, by the way, how, how many parts does this piece have for you, this toccata? How many um, divisions you would give this piece? А как бы вы разделили по форме эту пьесу? Сколько в ней разделов? Three, uh -huh. Three divisions. Okay, can you, uh, can you tell me uh, the, the ones? So just play always the first bar of the sections. Ага, покажите первые такты этих разделов. Окей, да. Окей, I would uh, do a bit different, um, I would subdivide it a bit. So we have the introduction, then we have Allegro Vivace. And now the part where we are now, it's the same motif, but different key. So I would call it maybe um, B2, I would say, yeah, the, this one is B1, it's B1, and this is B2. Yeah. And, and if you look to the structure of this piece, um, It starts very simple. So what is actually the structural basic of this piece? What would you say? So what's the main motive? So in Beethoven, it's, mm -hmm. it's this motive. And what's the motive here? So it's Beethoven's motive. Right. So just minor chords right c minor a flat minor c minor a it's you can analyze it it's nearly everything it's minor right minor chords always an arpeggio three notes and then he just puts it in a row то есть в основе три звучия да либо до минорное либо ми бемоль минорное но это просто минорное три звучия So when you read a bit about George Crump, he was um, admiring uh, just Baroque music a lot and he studied a lot. And what you can see here, what he's doing, he's adding step by step, as we showed, new elements. So the first new element, it's this, because this interval is new, right? Because it's a big third. So it's not, so it's this, right? So, and then new, it's, it's this, it's also new, right? It's a bit like Arabic, like, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. And what's the element now uh, in this section where we now are? What's the new element here? Какой элемент в той секции, в которой мы сейчас находимся, новый? So it's not the material, but it's the bowing. So it's the slurs are the new element in the articulation. То есть появляются лиги теперь, да? Can we start from here? Okay, good. Um, I'm sure you play Bach, right? Every cellist plays Bach. Ну, конечно, вы играете Bach, я в уверен. If you study old sources about Baroque style playing, uh, what about slurs and the articulation of slurs? Do you know anything about it? Uh, что вы знаете о барочных лигатурах? Что вы можете сказать о принципах игры? Если посмотреть в старые источники оборочной игре. Вот. I'm always asking so, too much questions, right? The people <laughs> are always irritated by my... 
<laughs> people are always irritated by my teaching, but um, yeah, that's that's life. Я всегда um, вожу в, заблуж... в нерешительное состо... состояние своих учеников, но такова жизнь. So the slur has like an off-going accent off the string. То есть к концу. Can we do it a bit slow? К концу лиги, да, там уже возникает не просто легато, да, а что-то вот такое вверх идущее. So let's do practice tempo. Like this, yeah. Okay, good. Also, here. So it's like it's a movement of the string. То есть конец лиги. Yeah, and more. So you have to. Отпускайте со струны. Yeah, that's better. You have to activate the small finger. Look to my small finger. Смотрите на мой четвертый палец. So the first finger goes in the string and the small finger goes off the string, right? That's very logic. Good, bravo. I think this is very important in this piece because it's a dedication to Baroque style playing. In fact, by George Crump, of course, with a new tonality and in his own music language. But uh, I think he wants us to study the Baroque um, articulation principles. То есть в этой сонате очень важны принципы барочной артикуляции. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, I would say the B section. This is the B, uh, the C section. That's a new part because that's completely. Can you tell me what is changing here? Что здесь поменялось? What is what is new in the material here? Uh, new intervals. No, new intervals. No, not really, because it's still small thirds. It's still the same things, but he changes two two things. Но поменялись две вещи. So uh, I mean I'm talking about I'm talking about this section. What's different? It's still the same chords. Что что поменялось в этой в этом разделе? Always think simple when you analyze things. Very simple. So it's higher. Просто стало higher. It's fortissimo. It's leg it's legato and you have half notes. So not quarters, you have legato. Половинки. So it's everything different, but the material stays the same. Motif yeah. остался тем же, но поменялся, поменялись динамика. So uh, can you play it? Register. When you played it uh, before, when you played once through the piece, it was not energico enough and not fortissimo enough and not on the string enough. I would play it more on the string, more tenuto. Yeah? Can we try from there? Больше тенута, более больше на струне и больше и громче. Huh? Can you maybe uh, is it possible to vibrate? Uh, give it more sound in the left hand, more free. Больше звука левой рукой. Дайте. Go on.
Okay, good. W one question. Um, what does this passage mean to you musically? If you would uh, um, put a title on this passage we all played, what would put you here? Какое бы название вы дали этому пассажу? Что он для вас значит? I don't know. Mm, I give you some ideas. I would say searching for something. It's like you play where I am. Where's the answer? Поиски ответа. Again, you stop again. Then you start again with the same motive. Again, piano. Idea. Ah, there was an idea, but you didn't find it. And then you try it. So it's like a search for the structure. I would say, in fact, he's searching for the coda. He wants to find the solution of the ending. So he wants back to go to the octave. Вы пытаетесь найти выход, конец. Yeah. Can you play it more theatralic? More theatralic, like you, you try you, this direction, then you try it here, then you go there, then you go back. Uh, you are irritated. You have no idea where you are. Okay, bravo. Yeah, that's much better. So, especially in, in contemporary music, um, you need often a theatralic attitude. So you have to find the meaning of the motives. I mean, in every music you need this. But I think because the structure and the material of the sound is sometimes so complicated that an audience who has no idea about this piece needs something to rely on and to to get your idea. Otherwise, it's just notes and no structure. Yeah? А современная музыка, ее нужно обязательно играть с каким-то театральным оттенком, с театральным отношением, потому что иначе публика будет очень плохо понимать, о чем идет речь. Для нее это будут просто абстрактные ноты. Поэтому каждый музыкальный жест должен иметь значение театральное. Yeah. Good. So, can you play once this passage, only the upper part? Only this, three notes. Good. What's new? Here. Right. You found it. This interval. So, it's the tritonus. Uh, in Middle Age music, it was called the Devil's Interval. So it's a lot. So the whole piece consists out of thirds. This is the third, right? But this is new. And if you go on, this is the inversion in the next passage, yeah? So it's like you go up and then, and in the next you have so again, he goes on with the structure, and then, and that's a new thing. Появился новый интервал тритон, да, в средневековье его называли интервалом дьявола, да. Покажите это. Если до этого были только малые терции, да, то здесь вдруг новое качество. Okay, and and then in the new element he writes pianissimo. So can you give it this more and now more? It's again this theatralic thing. So theatralizujte that contrast. You have no.
Okay, bravo. Yeah, good. And what's new here? Here. Double, double, double notes, uh, double stops. Yeah, but we had double stops before also. Um, uh, and also, we had also before. No, it's chromatic. First time in the piece we have chromatic scale. Yeah, so maybe you can play it a bit more. Chromatic means always pain um, or Chromos, Greek word is farbe, uh, so color, colorful. So it gives some um, color, some shape, some some passion into this. So it's more uh, 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 more in contact with the bow. Yeah? Can you play this directly? Больше краски, больше контакта требуется, поэтому здесь со стороны. And the sound. I know there's a dot, but the sound of this dotted quarter note doesn't sound very good. Keep attention that it sounds good. Да, здесь здесь хотя и точка, но все равно эта нота должна прозвучать. Okay, you you use a lot of bow. I would do less bow and more weight. Not not bow speed. It's more weight. Меньше смачка, больше веса. Yeah, good, good. Go on. Let's go on. Okay, good. And now this passage is like the reprise, right? What's different here? Что изменилось? Half tone higher. Yeah, so that's like the development of the piece is we we do with the reprise half tone step higher, but as we know at the end of the piece how it does end. On on C again. So I don't know. I, I I'm not a philosopher, but uh, the message could be um, he tried to develop, but he ended up at the same point where he started, maybe. Я, конечно, не философ, но, наверное, здесь смысл как раз в том, что как бы вы не развивались, вы все равно потом вернетесь к своим... Okay, let's go from... And let's try just for fun now, let's forget about anybody listening to this lesson. Um, try to play it a bit more fast, a bit more crazy, but not loud and no accelerando, but really fast. И сейчас играйте быстро, но без ачелеранда. Да? И не стесняясь. И тихо. Okay, good. I have one question. Good, good, good. Um, you play subito slower. I would play the same tempo. Я бы играл это в том же темпе. Good and. One other question, do you play more or so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, 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 one, two
What do you play more? Как вы играете? На два или на три? На два. На два. Он ту, он ту. Can you try um, to do it in three? Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Okay. And then um, in the coda, I would do much more accelerando. So you played very. Um, You started slow, but the accelerando of the end can be more, and then more to sostenuto, more sound and more time. Yeah, so really bring the piece to an end. Accelerando, хочется больше, да, а в конце где more to sostenuto, больше звука и больше времени потратить на него. Okay, bravo, bravo for playing. So uh, thank you very much. So it was a, quite a good level of uh, of both you players, uh, Alexandra and and Natalia. Um, so thank you for inviting me, and I hope you can get something out of what we talked about. So thank, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. It's uh, yeah. very interesting. So for us, very important. We hope next. Uh, Uh, lessons uh, will be already offline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. offline. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank okay. You. So thank you very much. Um and good good work on the crump. It's a, a very good piece. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>